Uh, they don't have the word annual in here. They have the anointing. Yes, in the Holy Scriptures, either material with oil or spiritual. Mm -hmm. With uh, with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, now, this is something I should probably know. Anointing the body or head with oil was a common practice in, with the Jews as with uh, other nations. Yeah. Anointing the head with oil or ointment seems to have been a mark of respect, sometimes paid uh, by host to his guests. <laughs> Luke 7:46 and Psalm 23, 5. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't really know why you would put oil in somebody's hair. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about my hair this morning when I was thinking about how long it is. <laughs> seems that some women, they think a, a long-haired man is more uh, attractive than a short-haired man. <laughs> I said, well, you can have my hair if you wash it, condition it, and comb it while I'm not wearing any clothes. <laughs> you could have it, as long as you're naked while you're doing that. <laughs> A lot of women, they're like, no, nope, I've got to wear my clothes. <laughs> well, how are you going to be in the shower with me washing my hair and conditioning it? <laughs> And then, with that, you're going to wear your clothes in the shower? <laughs> See, that's, well, because people ask me for different body parts all the time. They're like, well, I'd like to have your hair, I'd like to have your hands, I'd like to have your, your legs, your genitals, whatever they want. <laughs> See, in Luke 7, 46, my head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. <clears throat> Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, yes, which are many, are forgiven. <laughs> she loved much, but to whom little is given, to whom little is forgiven, <laughs> the same loveth little. <laughs> and he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. <laughs> now this must have been somebody. Yes, it might have been. Lord, where was it? I, well, I've heard about a woman that had had some sort of um, <laughs> sexual relations with various men during that time. <laughs> and some would have questioned her about her chastity. Yes. <laughs> Turns out that she was really going after him for quite a long time. An older woman in her 50s. <laughs> Large breasted, they kept having sex with strange men. <laughs> there was a certain creditor which had two debtors. Oh, <laughs> the one owed 500 pence and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly gave, forgave them both. <laughs> Verse 42. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love, love him most? <laughs> Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom uh, he forgave most. Yes. <laughs> And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. <laughs> and he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? <laughs> I entered into thine house. Thou gavest me no water for my feet. <laughs> but she has washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. <laughs> thou gavest me no kiss. But this woman, since the time I came in, hath not ceased to kiss my feet. <laughs> Now, she must have had quite a bit to be thankful for. Yes. He forgave her of a lot, right? <laughs> and when you feel this uh, overwhelming sensation, right, <laughs> that God really loves me and I've been forgiven of a lot of wrongdoing, you feel a, a greater uh, appreciation for the anointing that you receive at the time of receiving that forgiveness. <laughs> now, um... 48 verse and he said unto her thy sins are forgiven <laughs> and they sat at meat with him and they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves who is this that forgiveth sins also <laughs> and he said to the woman thy faith hath saved thee go in peace <laughs> now um i know women that um have had various problems in life <laughs> and i know a lot of the reasons for those problems but some of them said, well, I'd like to volunteer to remove all my clothing and have sex with you so that we could conceive a baby. And I said, well, this is how this works. <laughs> you have to be 100% healthy. I don't want any venereal diseases. <laughs> you know, when 
when you use your genitals, there are certain diseases of the sexual nerve endings. <laughs> now, for men, they get crabs. <laughs> Little things that crawl around in your pubic hairs that cause you a great amount of... <laughs> I don't want to have sex with any woman that's going to give me crabs. <laughs> then there's gonorrhea. <laughs> it causes certain warts so that <laughs> your, your your genitals will look really bad. I mean, <laughs> you well, you should Google gonorrhea, G-N-O-R-H-E-A, or something about it. It's spelled almost like that. <laughs> I probably should look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> See, I make sure... <laughs> that I'm not getting any sexually transmitted diseases from any woman that wants to have sex with me. <laughs> now, well, there's chlamydia. <laughs> and there's herpes. <laughs> it's no fun having sex with a woman that after you get done with it, you got all these STDs, sexually transmitted diseases, because she just... <laughs> well, I got gonorrhea.